It's the story that keeps on giving. Um, they go with Abbott accuses Tories of playing race card as Hester Rao intensifies. So she accuses the Conservatives of, uh, of playing the, the race card on the way into the general election. This is effectively saying stoking the culture war because that will in some way help them. But this story is just amazing. There are so many layers. Well, who's Hester for a start? Hester is the person who, who said uh, Diane Abbott is so bad she makes you hate all black women. This is Frank Hester, who's a yeah. donor to the Tory party. A major donor. 21% 20, 20, of their budget comes from him. So right. £10 million. Pounds. But don't worry, because he's, he owns a company that's received hundreds of millions of pounds worth of contracts from the NHS. So it's a little, <laughs> little cycle. Yeah. So our money goes to the NHS, that then goes to him. He gives ten billion, a million of it to the Tories. 1% back. That makes sure <laughs> that uh, they stay in so, charge so they can keep this cycle going. Well, with all of this kind of stuff, you know, I'm always slightly hesitant because I know that things can be taken out of context. Context. I know mm. that things are sometimes yeah. saying it, said in jest and you don't and it's misreported. Is that how you defend yourself? That is how I defend myself, and it works very well up to now. But yeah. the, but reading the full quotation, I just I mean this looks bad. <laughs> this is this looks indefensible. It sounds terrible yeah. when you read it out loud on a crowded bus too. <laughs> Uh, did you try to do that? It's just on the way here. Scott, I mean, come on. I mean, what would you in, in this situation? So the Tories have had 10 million mm. uh, from this guy, and mm. then they've said they would take another 10 million if he offered it. Yeah. I mean. At what point do you say, actually, the money isn't worth it if someone's going to say this kind of vile thing? Well, it's so much a part of their budget, and they skate on such thin ice financially that they, they really need his help. And they're right. coming close to an election, so of course they'll take whatever funding they can get. I mean, is it the, I mean, there must be the case. It's that, when he or, said the, that she should be shot, that I was so shocked. That really took me aback. I mean, of course, there's racism, and it's horrible. But the, because two MPs have died, it's like, why is he saying this it's, now? Yeah, I mean, it just feels wrong. But, the, the, you know, the thing is, Steve, there must be all sorts of situations where political uh, donors to p political parties are not exactly morally pure. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure we get that across the board. And at what point do people say they need to pass this test before we take the money? Is it possible, is what I'm asking, on an ethical level, to separate this kind of thing from the re re receiving the money? Not when it's 10 million. Mm. I think if right. it were less, then they'd be like, oh, they don't really don't want this association, but 10 million is a bit much. This is why... Um, he, uh, Rishi doesn't want to open the floodgates on this because if they go, OK, we'll give back the 10 million, then all yeah. the journalists are going to do for the next fortnight is mm. look at who gives a lot of money and things they've said before and then go, ah, what about this? And I promise you they'll find stuff. Oh, yeah. That's so, the thing. And a lot of celebrities give money that we don't even know about it, it, yeah. it, it, anonymously. And in the US, they give a lot of money. In, uh, writers, directors, actors that people don't want to be involved with anymore. It's how they keep their power.